my beautiful little mogglets. So today we are summoning for Melissa. This just dropped out of nowhere. A customer. I just logged into the game and was like, holy crap, there's a new hero. And I heard they're gonna be releasing a new hero, but I thought they kind of just mixed that up with Luna. Um, but here we are, we have Melissa. She seems to be the Halloween character they promised, but then it was like Luna and it was confusing. So I wasn't really expecting a new hero just dropping out of nowhere. So um, I literally have no idea what she does but her design is so cute so we are going to summon for her regardless and then once we get her we'll check her out i know that's kind of probably not the best thing maybe i don't like her skill set or don't need it but who cares let's get this party started we have connecting issues so i assume a lot of people are trying to summon candlestick blood ruzid more blood i mean it makes sense she is like a vampire right mandolin aglorxa rose montmorency Come on, let's get a four star up in here at least. Joker, I mean, we'll get her in 120 summons guaranteed. I'm not sure if she's exclusive actually. Another Aglorxa, another Ruzid. Here we go. Maybe it's a five star, maybe it's the artifact. We should at least check out the artifact. See if that's interesting. Moonlight Dream Blade. Let's just check out the artifact real quick. Increase effectiveness by 30% on a single attack. Ah, I really. <laughs> Nah, we're not even going to look at her skill set. I really, really want to, but I want to get her first. Aether. Here we go. Maybe it's her. It's at least a four star. Moonlight Dream Blade. Because, I mean, that is a pretty weird five star artifact, just straight up effectiveness, but I, apparently only on a single attack. So I don't know if they mean basic or single target attack, maybe also. Pearl Horizon. Lena. Oh, yeah. Second Lena. Just got my first one yesterday. Tonfa. Haven't been summoning very much because there is a uh, spear. There hasn't been any new heroes really. Connecting issues. Yes. Sword of the Morning. Ains. Ruzid. Here we go. Come on. I can't skip it. Ah. Uh, it's a hero. Dominial. Cool, cool. Damn, boy. Let's, go, uh, let's get him. Can't skip this one either. But I don't think that really means anything. I think I just made it so I can't skip four stars. Roman. Yeah, because I definitely have both Roman and... What the heck? Three four stars in a row. Let's go. Boom. And it's another hero as well. Nice. Clarissa. Yeah? Thinking about raising Kitty Clarissa, so... Atmos Portal. Adlai. Enot, Montmorency, Aqua Rose, The Legendary Connecting, Devil's Brand, Grail of Blood, Carrot, Aether, Joker. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Can't skip again, because, yeah. Come on, little dude. Or girl. I think one's a girl, one's a boy. One of y'all should pop up at one point. That'd be cool, also. Delusion, Invoice Pipe, Delusion, Montmorency, Mandolin. I'm gonna say here. Here we go again or something. Forgot. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say when I see a four star coming up. It's just it's just hopeful words, but it wasn't anything special anyway. Brand. Well, we got 73 summons left to uh, guarantee. I mean, it could give it give give it to us earlier. That I mean, we. Oh, that is the uh, exclusive artifact. I think. Yep. I mean, it's kind of weird, honestly. Effectiveness, 30%. I mean, it, it must go up pretty high. Then you don't need to build her with effectiveness, I guess. I mean, it, I guess it's an okay general artifact for when you need effectiveness, but don't really want to build effectiveness, you know? Mukacha, Ains, Axe, Yaksha, Aqua Rose, Kyrus. Come on, let's do the good stuff. Dude pops up. Nope, but it's a four star hero. I'm cool with that. Silk, <laughs> been a while. Montmorency, four star. Let's let's do this. No, it's an artifact. It's cool though. Regardless, and sixty summons or whatever, we'll get what we're coming for. Goblin's lamp, Horizon, Kyrus. I mean, there's a one percent chance to summon her. So, like mathematically speaking, we shouldn't have to go down to guarantee unless we're unlucky. So, uh, you could just go ahead and give it to us. This is it. I am 100% sure about this, because I can feel it in my bones. No, no little dude gonna pop up? Okay, you know, it's cool. Another Karen, you know, Karen's just, Karen's cool too. Totem, let's do this. This is the one. I, I know it for sure. Boom. Tome. Carrot. Yes. 
I mean, regardless, we're getting tons of four stars and I can't really complain even if we're not getting the character. Even when it's artifacts I don't need, I can still turn it into dust, you know? Dust is useful. Cube, Lena, Lamp, Curious, Sheath, Guard, Glorxa, Lamp, Compass. Yes, here we go. This is it. Kaboom! Don't have many waters origins, so it's fine. Not. Anchor. Come on. Kaboom! Oh! Oh, this is it. Yes. Boom. Wow. Will you join me on my quest for vengeance? Are you gonna say the second part? Okay, it's cool anyway. I really like that dark swirl there. That looks really cool. That is it. We are done, and I'm pretty sure I have to get rid of some heroes to make some space so I can actually pull her out, and then we can check her out, and I can give my opinions on her, now that we already have her. I hope she's good. What, I only have one, one little? We can pretty much instantly six star her once we raise her though, because we've been saving up our phantasmas for finally a new hero. Damn, I can't use anything. Well, whatever, we can use some like Montmorency's. We just need to get rid of three. We can pull her out of there. What? Why is she the only one in there? Did literally every other hero have space except for her? <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's the case, but okay. Very strange. There she is. Has a coffin and everything. Has definitely a Jane vibe from King's Raid, if you guys know that. Uh, mainly because of the coffin. And, uh, well, the facial expression is different. But the eyes are the same. And the hair. And the crown. And it's very Jane-like. But, um, anyway, let's see what she does. Basic skill. Overpowers the enemy with a 60% chance to make them unhealable for a turn. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's lost health. Uh, okay. That's, I don't really like unhealable that much. Manifestation. Ooh, immortal. Attacks by unleashing their inner age, granting immortality to the caster for one turn. Is that AoE or not? It doesn't really specify. But she gets immortal for one turn. Blood Bloom. Oh, a new skill, Curse. A portion of the damage inflicted on allies by single attacks will also be suffered by the target as additional damage at the end of the turn. Attacks by releasing their pent-up aggression, cursing the enemy for two turns. This skill is unaffected by elemental disadvantage. Elite or boss monsters cannot be cursed. So basically, Curse is kind of like a reverse Arius. So when you curse someone, I guess it would be better to attack someone else and then just have them die from the sort of extra splash damage that's inflicted on their allies. That's what it sounds like. Um, first impressions, she actually doesn't sound that good, unfortunately. There's probably something I'm missing. Uh, check out her memory imprint, uh, AOE effectiveness, and concentrated attack. I mean, I, I would assume she's a, I guess, a damage dealer. I don't really know what her role is. Let's check her out in the journal so we can also see her like animations and everything. All right, let's check out her basic. Yeah, single target. Check out her second. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, for a second skill, that animation is pretty awesome though. But that looked to also be single target. And uh, let's check out her third now. Also, single target. A mage with three single target attacks is kind of weird, honestly. Oh, but what I didn't see is the awakened version of this skill. Uh, with a critical hit granting the caster an extra turn, the skill is unaffected by elemental disadvantage. Well, that was that was already there. So if she's attacking a water unit, it shouldn't have any extra chance to miss. Uh, it shouldn't do any less damage. It's basically like a null element spell, I would say. Unlike Luna's where she always has elemental advantage, she'll just never have elemental disadvantage but still her skill set i'm i'm kind of unimpressed by of course we can still check out her stats check out you know her multipliers um stats very nice amount of attack very good speed no extra crit chance which is a little unfortunate but uh yeah still very nice attack and speed but yeah when i think about it i mean she could she could have a role she could uh, be one of the first to attack hit someone super tanky that's really hard to get rid of like perhaps a reviver or just a really annoying tank and the tank or reviver should die pretty quickly even if melissa can't kill them But yeah, I wouldn't really know until we actually try her. I mean, then she can cast Manifestation and be immortal at least for that turn, since she'll grant an extra turn to herself. 
but uh, let's check out those multipliers. Yeah, they don't seem super impressive. Skill three has a 1.2 and it looked to be single target. So 1.2 for a single target ult is actually really bad. Skill two actually has a 1.5 and skill one has a one with a 1.5 if you soul burn it. Also a POW of 1.1, which is pretty unusual, which means the final damage is going to be basically 10% stronger. Skill two has a 0.95 POW, which means it's gonna be a little bit weaker at the end. Uh, and then, yeah, skill three is 1.2 and one POW, so yeah, it's uh, really weak for some reason, if these numbers are accurate. But regardless, she is the new hero. We're gonna raise her, we're gonna gear her up, and we'll check her out in some various content. Uh, unfortunately, elite or boss monsters can't be cursed, which is something, you know, maybe she could have been useful in PvE, but that seems like that, not really, since it doesn't seem like she's gonna be doing massive damage with those multipliers anyway. Yeah, I don't really know. Maybe she'll get a buff at 1.2. That, that would be, that would be nice. I mean, I guess there's another thing to consider. Since she can use her third and second immediately, she can already take advantage of the curse on an enemy. And then she has immortality, which means her HP can go down to one and she won't die. So if that were to happen, you know, her basic skill even could potentially do a ton of damage considering it's proportional to her lost health. According to the info sheet here, she gets 0.35% damage per 1% missing health. So I guess it could potentially go up to 35% extra damage. I just don't think that situation is gonna actually happen that often. There already seems to be some form of dispel and of course immortal can be dispelled. So, but who knows, it's at least something to consider. But yeah, of course, along with that, we got the side story, hatred blooms red. Uh, probably gonna give some backstory on Melissa. Get to know her a little bit better, so that'll be cool. It seems like they've also changed the pets after I've gotten my first four star one. Thankfully I didn't do too much into it, but apparently two stars can inherit up to two skills now and going to four star they can inherit up to three. I think we actually got some adoption tickets as compensation. So the extra compensation is only for people who have tried to fuse four star into four star, which obviously I've never done. I don't even have a max four star yet. Also another change for those that missed the patch note like I did, uh, in Hunt, homemade snacks will no longer drop. Apparently the inclusion of the homemade snacks made the energy drop halved, so they're not dropping homemade snacks anymore. You can buy 10 homemade snacks per week from the pet store now for 100 friendship each. Um, that doesn't really seem that good to me, honestly, but uh, yeah, I guess if you want them, they're there. They also apparently did something with Ravi's ultimate animation. I don't know if they've already put it back to how it was, but I, I wanna see real quick. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. It's much cleaner. Damn, that's super clean now. I actually, I actually like it a lot, honestly. But yeah, I suppose that'll pretty much do it for today's video. Not much else to say, really. Uh, looking forward to raising her, trying her out. I, again, I think she is like mostly PvP. Can't really imagine her in any other content right now, but make sure to tell me what you think though in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you definitely enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.